Okay, Colonel Myers here. I thought I would do a review of one of my recent acquisitions. This is a buoy knife from a company called Timberwolf Knives. This is their claim staker buoy model. Seems that Timberwolf is an American company, but most of their stuff, or all of their stuff, is made in China. And they have two distribution sources in the U.S. You find their knives listed both on the Bud K website and on the Kennesaw Cutlery website and catalog. They have a pretty wide range of knives available. This particular knife, you can, if you are familiar with Cold Steel's 1917 buoy, you can tell this is essentially a copy of that 1917 buoy. I don't own one yet for my collection. I will in the future, so I can't show you a comparison, but lots of people have done reviews of Cold Steel's 1917 buoy on YouTube, so you can look for those and find them for comparison. That original, that, that 1917 buoy for Cold Steel is actually made by Windless Steelcrafts in India, and it has close to a 12 inch blade, whereas this one has a 7 and 3 quarter inch blade, so you can tell it's obviously a scaled down version. And as I show you the features of the knife, you'll see how similar it is to Cold Steel's version. But, if you ever, if you have a Cold Steel 1917 buoy and you're a big fan of it and you always thought, man, I'd like to have a little bit smaller version of this knife that's easier to transport, easier to stick in my, my backpack when I'm going hiking, easier to stick in the toolbox when I'm out doing things, well, this might be for you. This is made from a Chinese stainless steel that is known as 3 Chromium 13 stainless, 3 CR13. And it is said to be kind of the equivalent of a 420 stainless, specifically 420J2 or AUS4. So it's given a Rockwell hardness rating of 52 to 55, making it a little on the soft side, but it's supposed to be more corrosion resistance. And uh, in China, they use these a lot for dive knives because a little more waterproof, a little more corrosion resistance. Now this knife, I bought on Amazon for $25 and I'm then looking later and I found them on the Bud K website online for $19 so that's kinda hard to beat this is a pretty good price I was a little skeptical at first never bought from Timberwolf knives before didn't know anything about them and I thought what the heck 20 bucks I'll give it a try and I was very happy with what I got so let's look at it you can see like I said I don't know if it catches just right. You can see some some of their uh, grind, their uh, their uh, polishing belt work. It's not you know a fine mirror finish. And unlike the 1917 buoy from Cold Steel, this is not blued. The Cold Steel version is blued. This is actually some kind of black coating on the blade, but it very seems very very well done, very nice. The handle is just like the Cold Steel version. It uh has that same distinctive shape three screws hold it on now looking I don't know if you can tell on the video but fit and finish wise there is a little bit of gap here in the handle so it's not exactly perfect but you know hard to criticize for 25 bucks the nice solid construction no rattle it's got a nice thick cross guard just like the Cold Steel's version this the blade geometry is very similar it's got the finger choil here for use the one criticism I had is that just for me personally, this is a very a thick, a thick handle, right? So when I grab onto it, it it's it it's it's not as comfortable as I would like it to be. Say something like this knife, you can you can see the difference in the width of the handles, right? This is much more comfortable in my opinion. I've considered taking a taking it apart and taking a nice wood rasp and sandpaper and just reworking it and contour it, contouring it to fit my grip and I may do that eventually because one thing about this knife is because it has such a thick big handle it kind of shifts the center of gravity the weight of the knife back a little bit the balance point usually a, a good boy is going to have a balance point out in here so that you get a lot of power into your snap cuts and motions this one the balance point is much more further back so it, it just doesn't have the same oomph and move when you're moving it around as the bigger buoys have. But again, this this is a very nice knife for 25 bucks. You can't beat it. The sheath is nylon sheath, not leather, but good stitching, very well made. It's got a little Velcro loop here to help hold it in. Belt loop if you want to wear it. So 
You know, I like leather sheets better than nylon, but this one seems to be very well done. Again, for 25 bucks, 20 bucks plus shipping if you buy it on Bud K. Uh, this is a very nice Bowie knife to have in your collection. Now, if you're interested in in more than collecting Bowie knives and you're interested in a martial arts centered around the use of a Bowie knife, be sure and check out both my YouTube page and my Facebook page. Just search for Bowie Knife Connection. Well, that's it for now. Thanks.